Public interest in RFK Jr.'s remarks appears to be driven by a growing disillusionment with the political elite and a sense that ordinary voices are being drowned out. His comments are seen as echoing widespread concerns about the integrity of the democratic process and the impact of censorship on public discourse. RFK Jr. S. warning about the dangers of censorship in a democracy resonates as a rallying cry for those who prioritize free speech and demand transparency and fairness in elections. You really look at what's happening in the Democratic Party today. It's a party that the word demos in Greek means people. It's a party that's lost faith in the people. It's a party that needs ironclad control. So they didn't trust anybody during to have a real election. They got rid of the primaries because they didn't trust the people. They then pick handpicked Vice President Harris with no election, no even pretense of election, because they didn't trust the people. And you know, you have and they're they're the party now of censorship. And how can you have a democracy with censorship? You cannot have a democracy. They're absolutely incompatible. And everybody knew that everybody, you know, you and I were raised reading Orwell and yes. Alice Huxley and um and you know Robert Heinlein and Alexander Solzhenitsyn and uh, and all of these other books that were part of classical literature that was taught in every American classroom. It said the first step to totalitarianism is always speakers with censorship. It's the first step to that slippery slope. The criticism aimed at RFK Jr. stirs up deep concern over the erosion of democratic procedures and the increasing concentration of power. The Democratic Party's choice to bypass primaries and handpick candidates is perceived as a stark expression of distrust in the electorate, running counter to the principles of democracy. Given that Democrat suggests faith in governance by the people, such actions are viewed as a betrayal of the party's very name. This shift within the party toward authoritarian tendencies, where decisions are made by a select few rather than reflecting the collective will, highlights a broader trend that alarms many.